Okay. Oh my god. Hi guys, what's up? It's Jacoby and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to basically rank the zodiac signs on how y'all treated me in a relationship. So basically, I've been on a date with every single zodiac sign and I'm just gonna rank them based off of these tiers. So in first tier, we have would date again, in my opinion, heart. Like, low-key, loved you. Like, not loved. I don't... I've, like, never felt love before. Oh! But... <laughs> hello. Um, like, I just really enjoyed, like, the relationship that I had with this sign. And, like, I would kind of want to try something again. And then we have... Would give a second chance... Change. Would give a second change. Okay. Would give a second chance, dot, 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 I guess. So, like, um... Maybe I would date you again. Like, let's go out and see what happens, kind of a thing. And then we have, meh, maybe, depends on the person. So, obviously, this is, like, I don't know. It's, like, 50-50. Like, I might go out with this sign again if they were, like, seemingly okay. But, like, maybe not because of some trauma that I endured. Um, and then we have, no, go away. Probably not, bae. I'm honestly probably gonna have to push y'all away. Um, yes, I know doing that with, like, a Zodiac sign is probably the most toxic thing about me, but, like, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Like, it, you can believe it or you can think it's complete BS. I don't care. Like, go. <laughs> and then we have never again what the actual genuinely... Like, I probably will not date this sign. I don't care if y'all think I'm insane. Probably won't be dating this sign ever again. So, let's get into it. Okay, first off, we're starting with Sagittarius, I guess. I don't know why that's first, but Sagittarius, um, meh, maybe depends on the person. Okay, so with Sagittarius, I feel like it's very weird. It's like a hit and miss relationship with me and Sagittarius, which is funny because they're like the bow and arrow, but I don't know. I went to this party and the Sagittarius man literally looked at me and was like, are you trying to fight me? And I was like, no. Um, one of them threatened to send me to a hospital. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I just don't really get along the best with Sagittarius, honestly. Which is kind of funny because I'm supposed to like be 95% with them and I don't know. I just, I love the women so much more than the men and even the women are kind of shady as fuck. So like, I don't really know. Yeah. And we're moving on to Capricorn. Okay. I just, okay, here's the thing with Capricorns, is as friends, y'all are, like, somewhat chill. Somewhat. Um, in a relationship, I cannot stand you guys. I feel like Capricorns are so immature, and they just know everything. Like, they just know everything. They're, they know what's going to come out of your mouth next. They know what you're going to say. They know how you're going to feel. Like, they just need to know everything. And, like, as a friend, I guess, like, it's kind of fun to be around somebody like that. But my past relationships with Capricorn men specifically have been absolutely, like, scary. Like, they are scary. They've threatened me. They've been so mean to me. They've literally called me on the phone and, like, threatened to hurt me. I just, I literally cannot, like, with Capricorn men. It's literally been, like, almost all of them, too. And, I don't know, they're just immature. They cheat on you. They're just, like, evil. So, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on. Aquarius. Um, we're gonna do... No, go away. I... <laughs> I don't know what it is. But, like, Aquarius and I just kind of, like, don't really click very well. Like, I feel like there's just... There's just, like, this fakeness aura around Aquarius that I typically see. And it just scares me away really bad. Um... Like, one minute, they'll be like, oh, like, 
I'm not interested. And then the next minute I'll be hearing that they were trying to like have sex with me at a party. Like, I don't know. It just really confuses me with Aquarius. And this has happened with a few of them where I just really don't know what is going on. Like one minute it's like, oh, like we're friends or whatever. And there's like a little bit of shade and then we're like having sex. Like, I don't really know. It's a little bit confusing. Um, probably not but if like one randomly came up and was like the sweetest angel in the world i might give it a chance but for now mm, go away like go away okay then we have pisces i'm gonna put y'all a no go away too um pisces are almost similar to aquarius in the fact that they're fake but i feel like they're a little bit worse like I feel like Pisces men specifically, like guys that I've dated before that were Pisces were just so like bland and boring. Like they genuinely had no personality. It was like talking to a brick. Like some of them would be this like really, really cute, but they would just be like a brick of a man. Like they would be cute, have no personality. Like, I don't know. And it's funny because Pisces are all about like healing and stuff, but then like they would turn around and they would low key like play dumb and they would like go out and date other people while we were like talking and sort of like i don't know it was just so weird it was a weird experience i just don't think that i would really get along with the pisces so no mm, go away like we can be friends but actually we can't <laughs> okay aries would give a second chance i guess me dating another aries is like me slamming my head into a wall I feel like it honestly is like so hot like it's hostile it's a hostile environment like to Aries I just feel like Aries as people like we are super super sweet when you and we're like we're very relatable like we're popular but a lot of Aries people are super fucking mean like I don't you can never win with an Aries you just can't. Okay, Taurus. Well, okay. No, we're going to put you guys in no-go away. There's like a slim, slim chance that I would date a Taurus again. Very slim. But I just cannot with Taurus. Like, I don't know what it is about earth signs and water signs to be honest, too. And air. Everybody. All of you. Um, no, but seriously, I just can't. Like, there's just this vibe with Taurus that's like, oh my god, I'm like so healing. Like, I'm gonna heal and like, I'm learning my, I'm learning about myself and like, I'm literally just self-growing and like, learning. But like, did you just do something I didn't like? Because like, oh my god, fuck yeah. Like, it's just this, it's like, this is what Tauruses do. They're chill and then they're not chill. And then it's like a giant, horrible, scary fight. So I'm gonna put y'all in no go away, but there's like the slimmest chance that I might date a Taurus if you have some like redeeming qualities about you, which is probably like 0.1% of the male population of Taurus. So there's that. Next we have Geminis. Now Gemini, meh, depends on the person. Um. I actually was, like, traumatized by a Gemini over this past few months. Like, so traumatized. Like, he hurt me so bad. Um, and, like, here's the thing. I was, I guess, trying to, like, I don't know. I was very, very confused by the whole situation. Um, and honestly, I did not want to deal with it because his boyfriend came at me in, like, a really disgusting way when I was trying to protect him, like, against the guy, the Gemini. And, like, I don't know. I just feel like that whole situation was super, super high school. And, like, it just kind of reminded me that Geminis are really, really immature when it comes to, like, confrontation and, like, responsibility. And, like, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of Geminis don't really want to grow up that much. And I feel like that's where it gets really frustrating for me. Um, is, like, a lot of Geminis act super, super sweet. But when it comes down to it, like, they kind of just aren't. And... Like, I don't know. I just don't know. It depends. Like, if there was a Gemini that came up and he was really, really nice to me, like, I don't know. I would, I would date him. But 
Next is Cancer. Okay, I'm gonna say maybe depends on the person. I, I don't know what it is about me just like hating everyone. <laughs> okay, Cancers are like so weird. I don't know how to describe them. They're like sensitive. Like, I'm sorry, it's so true. I know everyone wants to sit there and be like, Cancer's not sensitive. Y'all are, y'all are very sensitive. Like, if someone comes for you about something that you don't like, like, you kind of get really frustrated about it and, like, start acting like a child, and it's really, really annoying. So, I don't know. It kind of depends on the person. A lot of cancers that I meet are just sweet. Sweet to me, at least. But when it comes down to it, like, I don't know, there's, like, this immaturity about them, and I think it might be, like, the whole entire, like, I don't know, it's funny because, like, cancers are, like, the mother of the zodiac because they, they're from the moon and they handle emotions and they know how to, like, heal people. Well, I would say, like, Pisces is probably the mother, but cancers just, like, I don't know, I, it's hit or miss with me. It's, like, 50-50. Like, I'm probably gonna like you, but, like, dating-wise, I feel like we might just, like, I'm gonna be annoyed with how much you're crying. So, yeah. Okay, Leo. Would date again. I love the Leos. Okay. I want a Leo husband. I want me and a Leo to get married. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but I genuinely just, I love Leos so much. Um, a bunch of my friends are Leos and I've been on a date with a Leo and it was really, really weird because he was interesting. And then he went off to date a Virgo. Interesting pair. Um, but then like him and his boyfriend were so fucking evil to me. Like they are cunts, but literally like a Leo man who is not him and was not manipulated into like doing stupid shit would be great i love leos i would definitely date a leo again they're so funny and they're like super cute they're actually they're not they're like super sexy okay virgo plot twist of the century i would give a virgo a second chance now i've seen a mix of Virgos, okay? I've seen the evil ones, so evil. You know who you are, buddy. Um, and I've seen like the sweetest ones, you know who you are, buddy. <laughs> I've literally seen so many different like things of Virgo, but the thing that always comes back is just like the awkwardness and like how slow moving they are as people. Like I'm surprised that they're not a freaking sloth. Like they literally are so like as an Aries, it's difficult because I want to be like, hi, nice to meet you. Let's get married. Um, and I feel like Virgos, on the other hand, are like, hi, nice to meet you. Um, do you want to like go run around and like look at flowers and then just like talk for 15 hours? And it's like, no, I want to go party with you. And they're like, oh my God, I can't party. It's like, I don't know. It's just kind of that. But I feel like they're very, very grounding for me. So I would definitely try out a Virgo again. Okay, Libra. I would give a Libra a second chance. I feel like Libras are very underrated. A lot of people really don't like Libras, but I do. And I think it's funny because, like, I've met a few Libra men, and they're just so awkward. <laughs> like, they're kind of like Virgos in the sense that they are awkward, but they're so shady. Like, they're so shady. And I have a Libra rising, so that might play into it a little bit, but I... I don't know, Libra men are like kind of sexy. And also, I don't know, I just like them. I like their personalities, they're funny. Okay, and Scorpio, plot twist of the century. I don't know what is going on, but I would give a Scorpio man a second chance. Well, okay, if there was like a tier between meh and would give a second chance, I would put them there, but I'm just gonna put them and would give a second chance because like Scorpios, are really really passionate and that's what i adore about them and like they are super crazy and i literally said that aries and scorpios don't get along in relationships like multiple times on my tiktok because they kind of don't but like i kind of love that like i kind of love that we hate each other i don't know and i i just want to live through that again i guess so yeah <laughs> anyway this is my tier ranking so and what date again I miss you. We have Leo. 
obviously. Uh, would give a second chance, I guess, is Aries, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Meh, maybe depends on the person. We have Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer. No, go away. We have Aquarius, Pisces, and Taurus. And then never again what the actual uh, is Capricorn. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment down below what your guys' ranking would be. If you want to see any more tier rankings of anything, um, especially Zodiac signs, <laughs> that would be so fun. I love doing this. And yeah, have a great day, week, life, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.